name is Ty B. My friend Ryan is D and Josh D. And we're from Soaring Hawk Elementary. And we wanted to talk about how iPads help us learn. One thing we wanted to talk about is uh, and show you is what apps help you in school but still have fun with it. This is Oregon Trail. Um, it's one more app that we wanted to show you. I'll tell you what we're doing. So, new game, yes. So, you can be. Um, any guy you want to, practically. You could be a farmer, carpenter, or banker. Um, I guess I'll be a banker. Um, you normally learn about it, uh, learn about this kind of stuff um, when you're in a, reading a book or reading a science book or in class or something. Well, this is actually, you can be one. Um, so I think it would be good because you can be one and you can learn a little bit how they did stuff like gold panty, you can do um, hunting, you can do a lot of stuff uh, with this app. Um, it'll tell you if you're on time, pace, it'll tell you your health, it'll tell you how many members you have, and uh, it costs 99 cents, and it's a, I think it's a pretty good app, and it's fun. So, that's the Oregon Trail. And you can use it at home, like, I'll do Oregon Trail anytime, uh, Math Drills, I'll do, I may go search to go vacation, and I may read a little bit. Um, and uh, it's kind of weird using it at home, but when you're not using it here, it feels kind of weird because you like go from uh, something cool and momentum-like, and then you go to a piece of paper. Um, that's what we're trying to prevent. All right, and this is the Ultimate Experience okay. Guide. Now, it's a free not, app. I want It'll take you to the, your favorite places. So, I want. I wonder if the White House is in Washington D.C. So we'll find Washington D.C. It'll give you the White House, U.S. Capitol, Lincoln Memorial, the top attractions. It gives you a bird's eye view of what you want to. It'll load faster than Google Earth. It's better than it's better than kind of like a piece of paper and a pencil because more kids would want to work on an iPad. Because um, I know I would rather work on an iPad than a pencil and paper. But um, I think it's a little bit more. You get more momentum to try to do something. So I think teachers would probably like that because sometimes you have a hard time trying to get a kid to like something like that. So another app that we wanted to show you is called iBooks iBooks is a place where you can download your favorite books and read them. Um, a couple things that are really cool about this is that you can flip the pages just like a real book. You can do the brightness, you can make it bright, not bright, bright. Um, you can search places in the book like if you forgot where they were. Um, you can make the fonts bigger um, and you can make them smaller if they're too big. You can bookmark it, hit the bookmark and then you bookmark it. So you can ask for the dictionary or the definition. You can highlight it, you can note it, or you can search it. So that's the last thing I want to show you. Thank you for watching our video about how iPads help us learn.